Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain steady state error with unit step input. Not only that, I will also calculate steady state error for type 0 system, for type 1 system and for type 2 system. So let us identify steady state error with unit step input. You can observe here we have negative feedback system where input is R of S that is unit step input means R of S is 1 divided by S and steady state error is based on error signal. Error signal is E of S that is R of S divided by 1 plus G of S H of S that I have derived in my last video for negative feedback system error signal is R of S divided by 1 plus GSHS, right. Here, see this R of S that is unit step input means it is 1 by S. So, let us substitute that over here. Now, let us identify steady state error based on error signal. Steady state error is ESS that is limit S tends to 0 S into E of S. Here, E of S that is 1 by S divided by 1 plus G S H S. Let us substitute that over here. Here, this S and this S that is getting cancelled. So, we can further simplify this. Now, with this limit, we can apply limit to the numerator as well as to the denominator. So, what will happen? In numerator, we will be having 1 and in denominator, we will be having 1 plus limit s tends to 0 g of s h of s and in my last video i have explained error constants where positional error constant is limit s tends to 0 g of s h of s right so here we have positional error constant so one can say steady state error that is 1 divided by 1 plus kp right so, steady state error for unit step input is 1 divided by 1 plus kp. Now, I will explain steady state error for type 0 system. See, type 0 system is having 0 poles at origin. So, for type 0 system, number of poles at origin is 0. Right. So, open loop transfer function of system will be g of s h of s and that will be constant k into s plus z1, s plus z2 and so on and there is no pole at origin. So, here in denominator we will be having s plus p1, s plus p2 and so on. Now, let us identify positional error constant that is limit s tends to 0, g of s, h of s. Now, here we have g of s, h of s where if you substitute s tends to 0, then you will be getting constant k into 0 plus z1, 0 plus z2 and so on. And in denominator, you will be getting 0 plus p1, 0 plus p2 and so on. So, this will be somewhat constant that one can say. This will be somewhat constant, right? And steady state error that is 1 divided by 1 plus kp for unit step input, right. So, steady state error is ESS that is 1 divided by 1 plus kp where kp is constant. As if kp is constant, steady state error will be also constant, right. So, steady state error for type 0 system with unit step input that is constant, right. Now, I will explain steady state error for type 1 system. See, with type 1 system, we have one pole at origin. Means, open loop transfer function will be g of s, h of s, where in numerator, we will be having constant k into s plus z1, s plus z2 and so on. And in denominator, we have one pole at origin means we will be having s that is one pole at origin 
and we can have some other poles like S plus P1, S plus P2 and so on. Now for unit step input, we need to identify positional error constant that is limit S tends to 0 G of S, H of S. Where if you place S tends to 0 in this, then 1 divided by 0 will be there. 1 divided by 0 means it will be infinite, right? And I have explained steady state error that is 1 divided by 1 plus Kp, where Kp is infinite. So steady state error that is 1 divided by 1 plus infinite means it is 1 divided by infinite means it is 0. So steady state error for type 1 system with unit step input that is 0, right? Now I'll explain steady state error for type 2 system. See with type 2 system we have two poles at origin means transfer function g of s h of s that will be k into s plus z1 s plus z2 and so on that is showing you zeros but at origin we have two poles means in denominator we will be having s square and some other poles are there like s plus p1 s plus p2 and so on now here let us identify positional error constant that is limit s tends to 0 g of s h of s here if you place s tends to 0 with this then 1 by 0 that is infinite so kp is infinite and steady state error that I have explained that is 1 divided by 1 plus kp, right? So 1 divided by 1 plus infinite. So that is 1 by infinite means 0. So steady state error for type 2 system with unit step input that is 0, right? So steady state error for type 2 and type 1, it is 0. And for type 0 system, it is 1 divided by 1 plus kp, right? That is how one can identify this. Now, in next video, I will explain steady state error for unit ramp input. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Still, if any confusion is there, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.